YouTube Troy Stars Troy Stars Trucking Thanks for tuning and welcome back to another new video Now in this video is a quick fix Quick fix My radiator hose return line Is that a return line? Or a hmm, I don't know what that line is But it's from my radiator to the reservoir Is a small hose that was actually leaking. For more videos like this, please subscribe. How I found out about this leaking is not by the truck alert me, is by pre-trip. And normally, how I normally pre-trip, I would pre-trip in the morning time, you know, check my radiator, check my oil, you know, I mean, walk around, look, you know, one of the first thing I do is normally look under the truck, like look at, at the spot, at, under the oil, the oil pan. To be honest, I look under the oil pan because I know oil is in there. And if I see any oil on the ground, that means no oil is in the truck anymore, right? So I always, that's what, what I, what I, one of the stuff, whenever I'm walking towards my truck, I try to look under where the oil pan is, you know what I mean? To see if any oil is on the ground. That's the first thing. But anyway, guys. I just wanted to say a big respect. Please leave me a like on my videos because you know, YouTube, you know, YouTube get involved. When YouTube see that my fans are liking the videos, they send it out to a lot more people. So I, I need you guys to help me grow. So please leave me a like, leave me a comment on my videos. Let me know what I'm doing. And you know, request, request your video as usual. I have a lot of requests which I need to complete, but still sending your request so I know I have a lot stuck on pile so I can put it together instant anyway what I want to talk to you guys about I found out that my radiator is leaking all I found out is after I make a small run um, maybe about two hours right I stopped by my uh, shipper and while I was there you know I came out the truck I go inside when people came out the truck but I actually smell the coolant from my engine, I smell it. I didn't saw it or anything, but when when I was pre-tripping, but when I look under the truck, I see some little drips, not not a lot, little, little drip under the, the underground. I'm like, okay, this is fresh. So when I pull the top and I start inspecting the, the lower level of the the, the, the the transmission or the truck or what, not transmission, the radiator of the truck, whatnot, I, w I wasn't seeing any thing there but you know but anyway I, I start checking the top but when I start to check the top this is what I found out let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on thank you guys for tuning try stars check okay guys so this is it I was explaining to you guys if you can look at the ground you can see that li that little drop there on the ground is actually coolant So while I was looking down on the, the ground, I didn't see anything, but looking up, so this is where the leak is, this little small hose here is a line coming from the, um, the reservoir bottle, there's a little L looking o's i'm gonna tell you guys the, the 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 vid number i think it's it's the i don't know if it's the the o's itself or it's the this the top part of the radiator here i'm not sure yet but i already purchased the o's so i'm gonna remove this and you can as you can see if, if whenever i move it you can see where, where it's dripping but it, i think it comes from the pressure the pressure of the of the line so you can see it running down on the side of the the radiator so that's where i have an issue so i'm gonna get it fixed so i have everything already so i'm gonna get it fixed guys i have everything already i already go to the dealer i buy that small hose it, it, it cost me 42 dollars um i should have maybe just buy the clips only but i just buy the hose 
So I have the O's in the truck. I'm going to show you the, the part number. I'm going to also show you the invoice and stuff. And then we're going to we're going to fix it. But we're not going to do it right now. So we're going to fix it. Yes, YouTube. So I have my friend Paul came to help me out. Um, well, he saw that I was doing the video, you know what I mean? But he said, well, why not doing it now? I just told you guys I was going to do it later, right? But Paul is here, he's going to help me out and fixing the the O's and the colon. So, Paul, you got to man. Good morning. <laughs> How you doing? You don't want to ask that question, big one thing. So. What did I say to the guys I'm in Jamaica? Or that one company program. What would you say differently? Well, I would say um, it can work. Um, there's a lot of opportunity here, and at the same time, it's an opportunity to get your children into another country where they have more opportunity. Yeah. At the same time, them can become citizens here. Them can stay in Canada, or they can go back to Jamaica, or whatever. Yeah. But you know, um, more opportunity for the children. That yeah. is the key point. I mean, I know that. After high school and college in Jamaica, there's not a lot of opportunity for them. Yeah. So the sooner you can get your children here, mm -hmm. and them can get them citizenship, the world is their eyes, sir. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, more time, I was always the one answering all the questions. You, know, you hear from someone different that is already here doing his thing. He's a, he's a family guy himself, so he's here from the right person. You have what? Four, four, four daughters, yeah? Yeah. Four daughters and his wife, you know what I mean? And he's doing his thing driving his truck and he's also a part of the team as you can see he's, he have the Peter built around there uh, with the tri truck trucking on there so he's a part of the team Hello. you know what I mean Hi, baby. Mo most of most of the other uh, let me let me show you his truck Like the old one. I feel like the old one, mm -hmm. tighter. Yeah. You know, maybe it, it, it just set, situate just so that it, it, it just the only what if I slide out back. If it's under pressure. Yeah, it maybe, push maybe it, just can't, it can't come out after you put it in. Maybe just that, that the clip up. Yeah. Alright, can try it. Okay, so the, okay, so let me see what I'm going with this now. The, the. Okay, so come with a seal, a, a little small. A rubber o ring. O ring, okay, so uh, the O ring. So the, uh, the O ring only. Okay. That's it. Okay, so. I don't like how this feels, but you have to wash it on. Yeah. Look. You, use the other old people. Oh, you hear it? Yeah. Make a difference. Yeah, let me say I'll keep a wear or something. Alright, start to look on the picture first. We'll just put him back some coolant in there. Did you lose coolant? Yeah, man. Okay guys, so Paul just finished connecting the, the, the new uh, O's, you know what I mean? Um, basically what happened is at the ending of, of the, at the tip of this O's here, you have, you have an O-ring there and this one, the part that was leaking is, wasn't there, you know what I mean? Like it rubber, rubber or something or bottom, you know what I say. We finished, I finished, um, me and Paul, you know, we finished connecting that small um uh what do you call it now 
radiator return hose from the reservoir from the water reservoir to the radiator at the top so what is what what happened that small hose plastic hose have a o-ring on there and that o-ring is like it 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 do its time i can't say but let maybe burst come off rub down or whatnot maybe rubbing back and forth and i don't know what to say but that's what happened it is gone so it caused the radiator to leak so what happened was whenever the pressure like you know because whenever you the, the, the radiator build pressure right and when you stop it will keep the pressure so in that way you know it you know you find a way to come out and that's it so he came through that um o-ring missing section and then go on to the radiators that's the reason why I, I, I could smell it you know when I was walking around the engine so that's what happened and then I saw the down on the ground anyway uh, what that part number is hold on, let me let me show you guys okay so the part number for it is two one zero five three zero three three and it's it's a hose right um so you can see it's 42 dollars for it so it's 42 plus tax take it to 48 dollars so that's it i bought it from the volvo dealer like i said that's that's a part number two one zero five three zero two two that's a part number for it and yeah it's just a hose and that's about it they give you a vin number you tell you, you you try to explain yourself as best as possible as possible or you take a picture of the whatever you want to explain whenever you go to buy it in the Volvo dealer or whatnot. But yeah, cost me forty eight dollars. And I don't know if, if they are actually sell the O ring only for that thing. Mm, I don't know. Cause the I could get a clip, like buy the clips and buy O rings and could use but the same O's, right? Maybe it would be way cheap per if i had known what it was i should have pulled it first right but nevertheless we get it fixed and thank you guys for tuning you know it's the boy troy stars trucking i just want to say big big uh respect to paul for helping me out you know you know what it is respect please subscribe if you're not already like and share i never asked you guys to share my video before but you can share it if you want thanks for tuning in. troy stars trucking. for more videos like this please subscribe